Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome back to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algorithms and go over leak code questions. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, smash that like button because that helps me create this content for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at today's problem. We have the problem binary tree in order traversal. So first let's understand what does this mean? What does the word in order traversal mean? So in order traversal follows these three steps. So first what we need to do is look at the left and then we need to traverse to the node. So we need to print the node and then we need to look at the right. So this is the order that we need to follow um, in a given binary tree and then return all the values of the node. So I picked this example to go through because the example in the question only has like three nodes. So I thought it would be more fun to do um, more number of nodes here. So what I'm doing now is I will write down the th three steps on all the nodes and we will go through each of the steps and then populate the returning result array here. So the first thing here, step one is left. So we start from the root of the node, which is right here. This is the root. And what we need to do as step one is go left. So I will go left and this is done. So I'm here. And then again, I need to go left as part of step one. And I can see that there are no values here. So when this is null, so when the left is null, then we can return to our color here and we will go to step two. So step two says, okay, print the node. So I will do that. And then this is done. And then step three is like, go to the right of the node, which again is null, so it will return. And then we want to go back up to the color here, which is three. And three's second step is print the node. So I'll go ahead and do that. So we'll print the node. And then, um, Three's third step is to go to the right. So I'm going to go to the right here, and then I'm at 20. And then 20's first step is go to the left here. So I'm here at 15. And 15's first step is go to the left. So there is nothing here, so there is none. So I will return back to 15. And then 15's second step is to print the node. So I will do that here. So I will say 15. And then 15's third step is to go to the right. And again, this is null, so we'll return. And um, this will return to the caller here. So we have completed 20's left side. Now we're at the step two where we just need to print the node. So I will go ahead and put this in the result. And then um, we are going to navigate to 20's right side, which is here at seven. So at seven, I'm at step one, which is to go to the left, and there is nothing here. So I will return, then step two is to print the notes. So I will go ahead and print this um, here, seven, and then seven third step is go to the right. So I will go here, and there is nothing to do here, so I'll return. Um, and then we have covered sevens, uh, all the sevens left and right here. And we have also covered all of 20s, both left and right child here, because we went here to the seven as the right. Oh yeah, and then we have also covered threes, all, all of the three subtree, because we already navigated to the threes right here and covered this subtree. So I hope this helps you understand what to return and in what order we need to go to make that return. Awesome, so I'm back in the code and the first thing we need to do is come up with our base case here since for this video I will be solving this recursively. So the base case is when um, we hit a none, right? So that means we have explored all of the left options here for this example. So this is what our base case will be. So when it is null, I will return. Um, so let me go ahead and write that. So I can say if root equals none, then return. Otherwise, what we need to do is follow the three steps. So the first step is to explore the right. So what I will do is I will call this function recursively. Um, so I will say self dot in order 
traversal and then we will explore root.left so this is the first step right um, and then the next step is to actually account for um, the value so yeah let me write that here okay I do need a helper function because I'm going to create a um, return list here so I will say res equals uh, empty list and I will call this um, return we'll call this def um, can call it in order DFS okay great so the recursion will happen inside this function so we'll return and then okay so now that I have organized this better I can say otherwise um, go to the left side of the root to explore that um, so this is our step one which is left and then next I will um, I will put the value in so after all the left is explored which means um, so in our first iteration it would be hit the base case all the way here at 9 when root equals none return and then when it returns to 9 I do want to record that value so to do that I will say res.append root.value and then I will explore the right side of this tree so we'll go ahead and explore the right so root.write and what will happen here is it will go to 9's right and then again return none and then go back up to 3 so that's the way the recursion will work um, so let me call this helper function and pass in the root And then the last step is to return our res array where our, our res list where we have um, collected all the values. So I will say return res. Okay, this looks good to me. Um, let me give this a run. Oh, oops. Okay, I'm missing root here. Okay. So run this. Okay, awesome, accepted, and submit. Yay, success!